whenever I smell asphalt, I think of Marine. That's the last sensation I had before I blacked out. The thick smell of asphalt. And the first thing I saw when I woke up was her face. She said she'd fix my bike. Free. No strings attached. I should have known then that things are never that simple. Yeah. When I think of Marine, I think of two things. Asphalt and trouble. Rip Burger, you're dumber than dirt. Oh, Mr. Corley, if you'd only listen to my plan, my vision. I know your plan, Rip Burger. You're waiting for me to die so you can take over my company. Well, sir, that's horrible. I am not waiting for you to die. You know I've never liked you, Rip. But you have business know-how and killer instincts that I respect. Why, thank you, sir. But this latest idea of yours, riding up to our shareholders' meeting with a gang of bikers? Who do you think you're fooling? The shareholders, sir. It's good PR to be seen hobnobbing with real Corley Motors customers. What do you know about our customers, Adrian? You've never even been on a bike. Well, you know I'd be on one right now, sir, if it weren't for my destabilizing inner ear condition. Ah, your ears are fine. It's what's between them that scares me. some boys I can ride with. Step on it. Let's find out who they are. Hey, Ben. Mm. You know, Ben, we're broke. Yeah. And if some cash doesn't come our way soon, we're in big trouble. Relax. I have a feeling something's coming our way. Something big. Eh, uh, you better stay out here, Rip. This place is bikers only. <laughs> the guy that drove over my car.
could possibly be taking so long. Maybe old man Corley got himself in trouble. Yeah, maybe they took the old guy out back and worked him over with a two-by-four. Hmm, an appealing notion, but improbable. More likely he's boring them to death with some tale of the glory days. <laughs> but Malcolm, isn't that illegal? Not back then it wasn't. <laughs> so who do you ride with these days? He rides with me. Although I'm sure he'd much rather be riding with your little club. I told you to wait out in the limo, Rip Burger. I thought you might like some help with your sales pitch, sir. Sales pitch? Yes. We have come here today to offer you and your men employment. Mr. Corley requires an escort to the annual Corley Motors shareholders meeting. Does this look like an escort service to you? You would be well compensated for your time, of course. Not interested. It's uh, fairly obvious that you could use the money. Listen, I said we're not for rent. The Polecats are not goons for hire. Not even if it were Malcolm Corley's dying wish? Rip Burger! That does it! I'm gonna... Hold on there, Malcolm. If you don't mind, I'd like to step outside with Mr. Rip Burger for a little chat. Excellent idea. And the doctor says he only has a few months to live. That's bad news for all of us. He's not just a nice guy. He's also the last motorcycle maker in the country. What happens to Corley Motors if he dies? Don't worry. I have a plan. And if you come to the shareholders meeting with us, you'll find out what it is. No dice, Rip Burger. The Polecats are not thugs for rent. If you want to buy muscle, you should go find the Rotwheelers. The old man says it's the Polecats or nothing. Then I guess it'll have to be nothing. Hmm. And that's your last word? That's it. Well, I'd like to make you just one final offer. <sighs> Bolus, take this coat and go get his motorcycle. We'll have to tie up this little 200-pound loose end. <laughs> It'll need to look like an accident. That stuffed shirt actually thinks I'll leave him in control of Corley Motors when I go. Boy, is he in for a surprise. Hey, where's Ben going? Your colleague has decided to accept our generous offer after all. As a matter of fact, he's gone on ahead to scout out the route. He did? Well then, let's roll em, boys! Yahoo! Corville, here we come! Hey, my name's Dr. Not. That was a long intro. This is Full Throttle Remastered, originally released in 1995. You can tell. It's all about biking. Alright, so... Open menu, let's see what we got. Skip dialogue, we're definitely not doing that. This is all that it's about. Walk to open verb skull, wait. Walk to open verb skull, confirm attack. I don't even know what's going on. We're gonna use, we're gonna use the old mouse. And we're gonna, we're gonna play this game. Wait, what was that? What the? Okay. Oh my god. What am I actually supposed to be doing? Okay, here. Here's what we're gonna do. What in the hell? Let's take a look at the controls. Skip. Okay. Steer bike. Enter. Enter and click. Oh, I have to enter. Wait, no. Switch render mode. I don't want to do that. Steer on bike with the mouse or left, right. Enter. 
That's weird. Okay, so let's go back to the game. What in the hell? I'm obviously missing something. Okay, so I can... Or maybe I just smash this. There we go. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. So I can... Okay, so I can walk to... Okay, controls work just fine. Didn't realize we were in the dumpster. Wait, so everyone thought we left, but our bike's still here? Let's go. Maybe we should go inside. Actually, let's go inside. Just kidding. Like, it's closed. Oh. Let's go! I mean, can we jump I don't on have it? Anything. I mean, you don't have anything. Alright. Apparently, we don't have our keys. Is, is what I'm assuming he's implying. I mean... What are we just gonna That's where I came from. Nothing that way for me but a warrant. Oh. Son of a... Oh, I see. We're just gonna walk down the road. Is that what we're doing here, huh? Oh, nope. You know what? Maybe we have to go... Oh, God. Maybe we have to check out what's in our bag. Oh, I see. We have to kick, do the kickstand thing. Son of a... Some joker took my keys. I don't like that. So when I do this, so there's like, uh... Kick it, punch it. I see. What in the hell? I'm not putting my lips on that. <laughs> okay. Some joker took my keys. Okay, okay, I get you. So we can go kick down the door. Let's go kick down the door. I could lick the door, or I could punch the door. Let's go. I get it now. I, uh, fixed your door. It was sticky. Look, I don't want no trouble. Just leave me out of this mess. Yeah, but do you have, like, keys or something? Oh my god, so I could just smash... No, 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 we're not doing that. But no. Those are my three options. I can't do anything else. Dude, do you have, like... That's very aggressive. <laughs> Maybe it's grabbing. Grab a bottle. So... Can't. Gotta ride. Can I, what, what do I do with this guy? You know what might look better on your nose? What? The bar. <gasps> now don't mess around with me. Alright, alright! I got your keys, but I don't know nothing. They had guns. They told me to stall you as long as possible. Why? I don't know. I don't know. I overheard them say something about an ambush up the road. What else? Nothing, nothing. Look, man. Here are your keys, all right? Oh, uh, someone did say something about killing you and making it look like an accident. They didn't do too good of a job there. But why ambush the pole gants? I'd better get moving. Indeed. Alright, so it's not punching, it's just grabbing. Which I guess is better. I can't wait till I have to use the mouth symbol. I'm gonna do that on every human from now on. No one can stop me. But they try. Uh. What? Hey! Ain't you the A number one pole cat honcho? Yeah, and you're in my way. Well, get used to it, bud. When the rock wheelers hit the road, we own it! Look, I'm serious. Someone's ambushing the pole cats. Someone's ambushing the pole cats? Oh heavens, whatever will we do? Ha <laughs> ha! That does it. Come on, kitty! Let's get down! 
Hey, hey! Oh crap! <laughs> Did he just punched me once? <laughs> what was? Don't give up now! How, I don't. I can't. Okay, I just got. At least every time we fall down, we get back up again. How am I supposed to? That off me. No. I can't even control this because. Okay. He's just... Okay. He's just like, running into it. I will... <laughs> Come on! I punched him like three times in the head! Oh my god. Okay, look at... Seriously? Like, I just landed four massive punches. Come here. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey. He just smacks me in the face and I go flying. Oh, we're gonna be here all day. All right, I gotcha. Don't give up. Seriously. Get off me. Don't give up. Okay, so I think I have taking him. Launches them to the side. We're gonna be here a while. No! Damn it! Like, my punches do nothing to him. Okay, so punching is not the way to go. How in the world? My God. All right. Okay. Don't give up So wait. I I'm supposed to be able to control my motorcycle back and forth, but I can't. He just runs into me. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, I see. Oh, there we go. No. There we go. I don't know. All right. So I just gotta push him over real hard. What in the hell? <laughs> So I fight him, fall down ten times, I win, and we still crash. I'd like to make you just something about killing you and making it look like an accident. Something about killing you and making it look like an accident. I have a plan. They had guns. Malcolm Cole is dying. Something about an ambush up the road. I have a plan. Man, this is gruesome. My editor better print these in color. Now I have to get you some help, I suppose. Oh. Ah, quit moaning. I know someone around here who can fix anything. What are you? I'm a mechanic. And apparently a pretty good doctor as well. My name's Maureen. My name's Ben. Why did you hit me over the head, Maureen? You were in an accident. A reporter found you and brought you and your bike here. My bike? What have you done with my bike? Brought it back from the dead. Sort of like what I did with you. I need a little help getting it finished, though. Hmm, okay, Maureen. We know who she is. How's it look? We care more about the bike than about her, let's be honest. Looks better than it did, but you gotta help me out. 
The front forks are wasted, so you'll have to get some new ones. And someone stole my welding torch. Can you believe that? I can't finish without one. And last but not least, I patched up your ruptured gas tank, but you're out of fuel and I don't have any. Okay. Who are you? Maureen, remember? If that's too hard, maybe you should just stick with Mo. Oh, just M. Do you have a last name? I prefer not to use it. What about you? Same deal. Then it's Ben and Mo forever, I guess. Hmm, where'd you learn bikes? Where'd you learn bikes? I guess I don't I have grew to read up that. working on them with my dad. One summer we did nothing but restore this old hard tail together. I mean, we scrubbed every bolt until it shined. But he took off one day and he never came back. So I switched to toasters. This an authorized Corley Service Center. Now you could call this a Corley Service Center, but I don't have the official paperwork. Ah, an illegitimate Corley operation. I prefer to think of it as a renegade Corley operation. You live in this town? Well, Melonweed's not much of a town. What's left of it is sinking about a foot a year. People either learn to adjust or they leave, which is fine with me. Not a people person? I'm just better with toasters, that's all. Look, if you want me to finish this thing... Say no more. Alright, we can find things. We can find things. Can I get out of here? Yes. Oh, good. You're not dead yet. I might still get a quote. I heard you saved my life. Yeah, but don't worry. I wasn't trying to. God, that I voice. I was just looking for some nice roadside disaster photos and you helped. Who'd want a picture of me bleeding? It's not the blood. It's the way you were, all twisted up like a pretzel. Listen, I've got to stop an ambush. Ambush? Really? Where? I don't know exactly. My crew is escorting some VIPs to the Corley Motors shareholders meeting. And there's an ambush waiting for them somewhere up the road. Um, uh, I... I... Yeah? This is hard for me. I... I need... Come on, man. Spit it out. Could you give me a ride in your car? I've got to stop this ambush. You're right. We have to get to the ambush, all right. But I'm afraid I'm without wheels at the moment. How did you get us here? Hitched. Well, I'd better be going. All right. Drive safe now. Wait, I can't drive. I don't have anything. So this is Miranda, so I could... Lick her? Let's try it. Pretty small to be carrying me around. Wait, what? I rolled you. What does that even mean? What does this mean? Oh, maybe it's talking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we're just gonna walk. That's what we're gonna do. Check out this mailbox for a second. We have to walk all the other side of it. There you go. Close it. Where am I going? I'm just in the road? Okay. What? Thanks for the lift. Now I got a quote for you. Yeah. What the hell is that about? So what am I supposed to do now? Let's, uh, kick it. Okay, yeah, walk to that side. I don't want to hurt Moe's mailbox. Fine, let's, uh... I'm not putting my lips on that. So can we actually walk, or am I going back to Moe's? Oh. Yeah, so we're gonna have to look around here. Let's... start... at the closest place. Look at us, look at us, there's a little... I guess we're gonna get one thing in each place. Oh. I'm not putting my lips on that. So you don't put your lips on people, but steel bars in the glass. I guess I could just jump through, right? Let's let's go through the door first and see. I don't even want to know what's happening here. Who's out there? Hey! I'm trying to do my art in here, buddy. 
I don't got time to waste on bums like you. Hey, you lousy Alright, well, this is what we're gonna do for every door. Odd sign. Is that look good on my bike? Yeah. Is there anything in there? Meat? What am I doing with meat? Oh, it's still the same door. Right, I'm gonna leave this fridge open like a douche. Got over here. Refrigerator? No. Okay. Nothing. There's nothing in here. It's locked up with steel brackets. Oh, that's pretty intense, actually. Wait. Oh, that's the drawer. Probably not gonna do anything with this. Let's see. Ow. Alright, fine. So... We've got that... What is this? The chimney. This would, like, smoke out his whole place, right? Oh, that was kind of a wimpy kick. What am I... Mm, no. Can I kick this in? Probably not. Steel bars in the glass. How about this? Sandbox. What's this? No thanks. This sandbox has been taken over by a big dog. Ew, where is the big dog? I don't need sandbags. They'd just fall apart. I just, I don't think there's anything to Bars. do here. Okay, keep going. Nothing we can do here yet. I mean, we stole some meat. I don't know where we placed it. But, whatever. Okay, let's go to whatever this is supposed to be, the Trailer Park Coliseum. What is this? Oh, a rope. Alright, let's go inside. Oh, I see. Oh, sandbags. But how am I supposed to take them here? <laughs> Alright, I have to let go of this. Yeah. Alright. Sandbags... Up, Sandbags would work, but I need probably like a wheelbarrow or something. So, let's go over here. Because those are the... Th three of the four places we can go. I guess we could leave. I'm not sure where that would take us. Take a look at it. I'm not putting my lips on that. Well, you don't have to do that. I just mm. want you to look at it. No. I couldn't break that lock. Not with your wimpy kick. I couldn't break that lock. All right, fair enough. What is this supposed to be? Can't get to it from here. Can't get to it from here. All right. Hmm. Puzzly, puzzly. So where does this go? I don't walk. All right. Don't go anywhere. So can I? I can click somewhere and just have him stop there, right? Yeah. Oh, that light just came on again. Did it? Now right, let's see if she's got anything. I didn't take anything here. Let's go inside. I think if we could grab some sandbags, we could keep the chain open. We have no way to move the sandbags, they would just fall apart. So, is there anything in here? What is this? I'll oh, take the gas can. Who's this? Oh, that's me and my Uncle Pete. He took care of me after Dad split at this place he called the Mink Ranch. 
When he died, he left it to me. You're a mink farmer? Nah, that place went belly up long before he died. But I still go back there whenever I need to get away for a while. Hmm. Okay. Nothing else to grab here. So, let's take a look at the bike. I'll wait till she's done. Nah, she's got a wrench. No, you don't have to, like, grab her. Just talk to her. Mo. Yeah, Ben? Where am I supposed to find all this Where stuff? Where am I supposed to find all this stuff? You can hack it, tough guy. Where's the gas? Well, there's a whole tower full of it at the edge of town. I have this crazy, irrational intuition that tells me maybe it's worth checking out. New forks and tart. Let's just ask her. Where am I gonna find new forks? Well, they don't have to be new, new, just not broken into little pieces. You can start by asking Todd in the trailer across the way. He runs the junkyard. How am I supposed to find your torch? I don't know. Set up a dragnet. Still can't believe someone would steal my torch. Who around here would do a thing like that? Actually, I think I can handle it. Good. Well, clearly it was Todd. Well, I'll let you get back to work. Let me know if you need any aspirin or anything. Wasn't he, like, making a whole bunch of noise down in his trailer basement, if that's even a thing? That'd just be underground, like, in the ground, right? I don't know. Alright, let's try this again. So, I think this is where we have to go. Sandbags to here. Some way to get into that. So, we can't grab any of these vehicles. Hey, he's doing something down here. So can I like grab them? They just fall apart. What is that? What do you mean they just fall apart? Yeah, good, good one. All right, let's just op smash open this door again. All right, is there something I'm missing here? I kick a sign? What would, what would that do? No. No. Oh. That's for the dog. That's for the gas. A gas can won't help here. Okay. Wait, what is this? Cabinet. No, like, what's in there? <laughs> I'm not putting my lips on that. Oh! Thank you. A tiny little thing there. Alright, close that. We'll close this fridge, because we want to conserve his energy. So now we can go get the gas. We have meat for a dog that we're going to run into. Run all the way over there, dude. And please stay on the road. Don't don't walk through the grass or the sand or whatever this is. All right. Can I, like, I can't see what I'm trying to do with it here. There you go. Can we take the lock? I like that could be useful. Thank you. So let's go in. Oh shit! What in the hell? <laughs> okay, so they just can we go back? Are we gonna are we gonna do this every time? 
It's gonna go off every damn time. Well, only one way to find out. What does that say? Let's try it. Jesus, okay. So... <laughs> I love the running. So we have a lock now. How does how does that help us? I'll probably lock the chain. Okay, so let's go this way. Instead of I thought we could weigh the ch weigh the chain down with sandbags. Instead of doing that, we could maybe just lock it up or lock it so that the door stays up. All right, so we got the chain. I don't know. I don't know how, but maybe we can. Maybe this works. That's not something I want to lock. Hmm. Do I still have it? Huh. Well, not really sure, to be honest with you. What could I lock that would be helpful? Let's pull the chain down. I'm guessing none of these other things are going to work then. So yeah, the lock wouldn't... Lock doesn't make a lot of sense here. This doesn't make any sense. Where's the dog? Where is this dog? But I... Nope, that didn't work. That's not one of Meat's many uses. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm at a loss right now. I, I might have to... Put my mouth on it. I'm not putting my lips on that. Put my lips on that, whatever. No. Huh, okay, so none of these actually help here. This is when I run into the dog, which will be in the junkyard for sure. This is obviously to get gas, that's to get in there. What is the ch what is the lock for? What is the lock for? That is the question. Not helpful here. Is it helpful here? Let's knock on the door and bring that guy back out. Can we talk to him? What do you want? I got a guy coming. That's not one of Meat's many uses. Can't you talk? Yeah. Hey, you lousy Hey, I hear you already. Oh, maybe we have to catch him. Oh, you know what? Okay. I think we have to catch him before he goes back down. So. You not for a reason? I'm a friend of Moe's. I need. Listen, I didn't take no welding torch. You hear me? I'm no crook. So get off my back already. Get away from my door, you bonehead. There you go. There you go. I think he's had enough. Why? Can't, I think he's had enough. Can't kick him a little more? I'm not putting my lips on that. So, okay. So, that's nice, but... Oh, here you go. By the way, what, what happened over here? There you go. <clears throat> That's my welding torch. How'd you get it? Oh, it was just lying around. A pair of forks, a little gas, and we're set. All right, so we got one of the three things. So I'm going to take a break here. Next time, we will continue, get a pair of forks and some gas, and we'll be set. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. We'll keep going. See where this leads us. Back to 1995, probably. 
So, alright. Take care. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.